Hello, my name is Lieselot Goda. I'm the founder and owner of Beer Secret. And Beer Secret is established in 2016 because I actually, yeah, I was selling beers before in a previous career. And then I thought like, actually this is interesting to share my beer knowledge with more people than only beer uh, and bar clients, sorry, bar and restaurants clients. So that's why I actually started Beer Secrets. Uh, the previous name was Belgium Beer Days, but then I changed it to Beer Secrets to have more like an, um, a general uh, brand, you know, it's for everyone, not just for tourists, it's also for team buildings and really uh, local beer lovers even. So we are the guide in the rich Belgian beer culture, that's what we do. Uh, we do that by making tours in different cities like Bruges, Ghent and Brussels. So we take people to different bars and breweries and we really let them discover what's now precisely the fame of Belgian beers. Uh, you know, what's your passion and interest and why do you want to communicate about Belgian beer culture and what's the essence of what people engage with in Belgian beer culture? Well, the, the, the thing is that like in general you just see that Belgium is famous for their beers and a lot of people, they want to come to Belgium to try the beers but then they are like stuck in a bible of Belgian beers and they really don't know which one to choose and that's why I realized okay there 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 is a uh, market for being a guide being the guidance in that specific beer culture and not specifically only discovering the beer styles because there will really be people coming to Belgium and that they actually don't know that they, for example, could appreciate an uh, old Flemish ale. Uh, so I love to see that I have clients that say like, wow, this is a taste that I, haven't, that I haven't tried before and I love it. So that's one thing, it's about the beer styles. But next to that, it's also about the culture, you know, that we have the Trappists and we have the Lambic. I mean, Lambic is amazing that you actually can share the story with the people telling about spontaneous fermentation beers and telling about the fact that this is an old-fashioned beer style that's how i always call it it's an old-fashioned beer style and we have that special brewery cantillon that has always actually kept producing it and that's very good because until today we still have breweries or we have even new breweries that restarted this old-fashioned beer style and that's something that so many people don't know about and so when they discover that during our tours I think that's the best uh, beer discovery when they come to Belgium so yeah I love to share that knowledge you know it's a big passion yeah and what do you think is from all the new breweries, of course, carrying on a tradition and the mix of the international and the rise of craft and yeah. you know, the economic situation that they found themselves in. And that's... How do you communicate that? that that's, that's then, and an besides having this nice Belgian beer history and fame, um, it's also having the huge uh, grow of uh, the numbers of Belgian breweries. I mean, we can say in, I think it's only 40 years or 30 years, we actually have been quadrupled our number of breweries. We were only having, or we had only about 100 breweries in the 80s. And now we are in the 21st century and we have more than 450 breweries or maybe 425, to be honest. I don't know it precisely, but um, yeah, so I also has, have to thank all the breweries in Belgium that are actually growing their beer uh, styles and, and are experimenting and I mean trying different beer styles. And so it's true, it's not only about the history, I also should thank uh, all the Belgian breweries that are so diverse and all their different beer styles and it's something that my clients love to discover. Yeah. What's the most interesting or weirdest questions you've had from people? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, actually the weirdest, it's not the weirdest, but the, the typical question that I like to hear is like, uh, that, I, that I hear a lot 
It's like, what's your favorite beer? Because I'm the one usually that asks it to my customer, what's your favorite beer? So that I start to get to know my customer, that I know what they already know. That's very important for me at the beginning of a beer tour. Uh, but so when they ask me the question, I usually say back to black because it's a lovely beer. It's a lovely brewery. But then, uh, unfortunately, it's a very exclusive beer that you cannot really easily find. Um, another question is, aw is, is awesome. Uh, I mean, it's awesome as well. But uh, what, what I wanted to say, another question that is very common is that, uh, can you tell us any crazy spicy beer? And then I often refer to La Source Brewery that has this uh spicy with a lime, lime chili. yes yeah. but i forgot the name it's like a Averer or something yeah. Averer. Yeah, it's like with yeah. with the yeah. green uh maybe you can put the the yeah. real name uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on this video if I you don't mind yeah, yeah there yeah. you go me too me yeah. too and so they kind of like uh re-put it on the market which is very nice uh yeah i don't know any other crazy question um, no, I think I have very respectful clients and, um, and what, they... And what, what do you think is the change in the people coming here? Because we have the rise of interest in beer from India and all that. Have you seen a change in the type of people signing up, uh, the type of ah, countries? Yes, yes. Uh, I must say that um, my average client comes from the Netherlands or from uh, Germany or the UK and the US. But then I can have people from Dubai, Japan, uh, India, like you say. So it's, um, it's interesting. I mean, we have a lack of Spanish beer guides, to be honest. So we are pretty sure that we could even have uh, clients from that specific uh, part of the world. So we are not there yet to respond to that demand. But um, it's, it's obvious that when people come to Belgium, even if they're not such a big beer lover, they know like, okay, we should do any experience related with beers, you know, because they are in Belgium, the beer country. Thank you so much for talking to <laughs> Beer Eaters, Lisa Lott. You're welcome.